What's up guys and welcome back to Twin Chevy Studio and um, boy did my channel blow up in the past couple of days We've got lots of new subscribers thanks to the Watch Dogs 2 free video So anybody that liked, comment, shared and subscribed that, thank you Welcome to channel 12 new subscribers Today I'm going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto 5 again and the menu trainer If you remember while I was using the menu trainer Every time I tried to load in a DLC car, this happened Oh, if you're feeling extremely creative Oh why did that go? As you can see, it spawns in for a split second and then kicks you right out of it. This is a glitch that has been on menu before and has been fixed. So here's hoping that in the next update, and I've finally managed to fix that. So now every time I launch a DLC car, this happens. And boom, we are now in a Batmobile. Fantastic. So today I'm going to show you how to fix the menu installer and the fix for it is quite simple. So sit back, relax, get your knickers out of a twist and let's just dive into it. But obviously to do this you're going to need menu installed. If you've already done it from my previous video, I'm not going to make you watch that again. I'm just going to show you really quickly how to do it because it's really, really simple. You go to the link in the description down the hold, github.com forward slash marfin slash menu sp slash releases. Go down to where it says menu sp dot zip. Click that and save that file to your downloads folder. Then go to your downloads folder, found menu sp dot zip, right click, extract all and extract it then you're going to want to take the two files menu stuff and menu.asi right click copy those and now you're going to want to find your copy of gta 5 so in program files epic games gta 5 and then on this section here where it has the gta 5.execute file right click and paste those in I've already done it, so it's going to replace all the files, or 46. Once that's finished, you have menu installed onto GTA 5, and you'll be able to mod it, just like I did in the previous video, by pressing F8 while you're in the story mode. You can't do this online. If you do this online, you will get banned. Um, there probably is ways to do it online, but it is frowned upon. Now, the solution to the problem that I had with DLC cards is to install another trainer, simple trainer for GTA 5 11. Two. So go to the link in the description down below, gta5-mods.com slash script slash simple trainer for GTA 5 and click the download button. Click download again and then save this file to your downloads folder. Go back to your downloads folder and you're going to have this raw file here. Now to open this you're going to need a program called 7-zip which is a program that I use for absolutely every raw file. It's the best free unraring program out there on windows so 7-zip when you right click it will appear with a 7-zip here click extract to ea4cf-trainer v that'll give you a folder here and here is the asi trainers now the two files that you want from here are the trainer v.asi and trainer v.ini file so take those copy them go back to this pc local disk program files Epic Games, GTA 5, GTA 5.exe, right click and paste those in. As you can see, I've already got them, so it's just going to replace them. And that is it. That's everything that you need to do now when you load up your Maffins trainer. You can also use the simple trainer, which is F3, I think. Yep, F3, and use the numpads to go across there to play with that one. That's another simple cheats mod type trainer. But the Maffins one is my favourite because it has things like the Batmobile already there. There's a lot of the DLC car scripts already built into it. Some funny models. Like a toilet you can drive around on. And one of my personal favourites because as you can see, we're stuck in this tennis court here. How am I going to get out of this? I'm going to spawn the Deluxo. Which kind of looks like a DeLorean. And if you double tap A... turns into a flying car let's get the weather let's clear the weather up so you can see that a lot better so we'll go to weather options and in fact we'll change we need to change the time make it from nighttime to daytime and there it is 
the flying DeLorean car now available using the menu trainer thanks to the, the simple trainer I don't know what the glitch is with menu I don't know why if you just install it normally it doesn't spawn DLC cars but if you add the simple trainer for some reason that fixes that problem and I can now fly around Los Santos in a DeLorean beautiful another one of my favorites is obviously the Batman car that I shown earlier and if you're feeling really 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 saucy you can drive around in this fantastic Tron type motorcycle so there's lots of fun to be able to menu training and all the other stuff from the online part of the game even the weapons that are Oh, even the weapons you have access to the Widowmaker, some sort of alien laser gun. Never let's turn wanted off. You have access to the up and atomizer. That didn't go well, did it? <laughs> the musket. Let's get our gunpowder in there. There's no one around now. There's no one to shoot at. They've all disappeared. Let's get on my Tron bike. Here we go. So my gunpowder in there. And the unholy hellbringer, which are all guns that were brought in with DLC on the GTA online only section. So there you have it, that is how you fix menu trainers so that you can now spawn DLC cars and DLC guns into the single player game so you can have a lot of fun with that. And that's everything for today, if you've liked this video please hit that like button, smash that if that's something that you're into and consider subscribing to the channel, I'm going to do more videos on this, I'm going to be probably playing Watch Dogs 2 later on. If you've got your free copy of Watch Dogs 2 already, let me know down in the comments below because I know a lot of people are still waiting, I'm getting messages constantly from people telling me that they still haven't got their copy. Do not worry, it is going to be rolled out sometime during this week. Just be patient, and remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.